Good evening everybody, this is Nel Caroco again and I have an exciting project right now. This is from our friend Marcel. He sent me this uh, email and he asked me to do the vertical luminance for his sports hall amazing marcel this is amazing project you have a nice object over there okay so to calculate a vertical illuminance for a sports hall you need to create a camera okay and for this one i will assume a cameras uh, i will put three cameras on this sports hall one is on the top of this uh, staircase here and the other one will be on the side of this court or this uh, on the side of this ring and also the other one is here just to see those people who are doing the layup okay i will not check the standards for uh basketball camera areas but i will assume that there is one on the top one here on the side and one on uh, the bottom of this um, ring okay so we'll put three cameras and actually what why i did this uh, video is because there's an amazing uh, evolution in this dialux evo 9.2 and we will use the camera on this project now all right so i will show you the cameras so let's go to the plan view you can see those yellows those are the amazing cameras Okay, and I will show you how to add this one in our report and how to activate those cameras. I will show you how it looks when I activated the camera because uh, Marcel created three calculation surfaces. One is for the valuable court, the other one is for the basketball court, and the last one is the futsal court. Say, for example, we are focusing on the basketball court. And look at this one. If I activated the camera, click this one, camera oriented illuminance, and say, uh, okay, results. And if I will click here at the bottom, say camera number one or camera number two, look at this. It's really cool and I love it. Look at that one. This is similar now to Dialux Regular. And I'm so amazed. I just I just I just discovered it this this at this moment. Okay, so how I did this one and let's see if we achieve the last level of these cameras. All right, because uh, Marcel already created the uh, the horizontal calculation surfaces and he achieved everything like two thousand lux for every court and I think that is the requirement for this televised lux level requirements for this. Uh, sports hall so let's go now and do it okay so what you will do is um, to add a camera is go to this calculation objects tab and then select here and the select tab, uh, click on the select tab click the camera now you have the camera and you may now place the object here because I assume it's on the top this is the one I created before you can just click there and then say this is camera number four or you can move it right click move it and put it on the other side so we will have other cameras here or maybe we can place it uh yeah i think this is fine maybe we can place it here yes let's do it here at the top and then rotate so it will be facing the court yes and if you go to the positioning, it should be higher than uh, the staircase there. So let's make it a 7 meters high. So it depends on the real location in the actual location of the camera because there is supposed to be a dedicated place for the cameras on the top. Hold for a sec. Do you like this tutorial? Press that subscribe button to keep you updated. Thank you. And then you can also add another cameras on the side because we will assume that there is um there, there are players that there are cameras that they want to catch the moment when they dunk or or lay up here on the side so we can add more place a camera here so it should be outside uh the court so right click and rotate 
and there you go and the usual height for the camera now this is camera number five you can see i created one already here and uh, we will position it as 1.2 meters this is the usual height of the camera man let's just assume like that if the client requires or if the, if the standard or the television requires say 1.5 or lower than that then you can just adjust it okay let's just make it um one meter for now because i already have a uh, 1.2 here and the last one is of course at the uh, at the base of this uh, um, net or ring so we'll place another one here and yes and then right click and rotate and because i'm watching basketball before so i know there is cameraman here because sometimes they catch the player doing those fouls and everything so i'm sure there's camera here so i will just make this one as point uh, say 0.5 because sometimes the cameraman is sitting on that side I already created one here but this one is 1.2 meters height it means the cameraman may be standing and this one is sitting okay so now I, ha I have now six cameras on this sports hall okay so let's activate all those cameras now but i will see you on the next video because this video now is too long all right so see you again on the next video as the continuation of this tutorial bye